Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Ozaki Omusic Pow Wow Plus, what a cool name. This is a Bluetooth speaker, works with the iPad and the iPhone or in fact any sort of Bluetooth device. So let's have a look at the packaging, nice box from Ozaki as always. We've got here Omusic for the iPad 3 and iPad 2, so they're obviously pushing it for iOS devices. And then on the back we've got some details about the actual speaker itself. Let's get this unboxed and show you what you get and then I'll be giving you a demonstration of how the Powwow Plus actually sounds. So inside the box we've got this central compartment here and this houses the speaker. If we just turn this upside down we can actually sort of remove everything in one foul swoop and we notice that we're not just getting the speaker with this, we're getting a special little back cover for the iPad as well. We've also got some extra bits here. Let's just get rid of all this packaging. And we've got some cables in here as well. I'll show you those in a short while. Little braided cable as well. And then we open it by putting these two up. This really does look like the packaging that you get on Apple's sort of smart covers and cases. They've done a really good job on how they actually pack their products. So we push open on these and then we should be able to turn this over and actually remove the speaker. Da, 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 da. Here we go, it is coming out. And we can remove like so. So this is the speaker in here. The rest of this is just packaging. So there's nothing else at all in here. So we can pop all the package into one side. And now let's show you what we actually get. So we've got the speaker itself just here and I'll be showing you that in action in a short while. We get a three and a half millimeter audio jack uh, cable, three and a half millimeter connectors on both ends. This is a braided cable as well. And we use this for sort of hard wiring devices into here, just in case they're not Bluetooth capable. Then we've also got a USB connector here. This is used for charging the device. There's no charger included with this, so you do have to plug this into your own wall charger or perhaps your computer to charge. We also get some instructions here, so a user manual, how to set everything up. We also get a little carrying case for the speaker. And then we get this portion here. This is really interesting because not only does it come with the speaker, but you also get a dedicated back. And this is so, you can actually, you can see the little picture here, you can actually magnetically stick the speaker to the case. Just see if I can get this out to show you. Tight fit. There we go. So this is the back sort of case part of the deal. Really, really nice. You can see here as well, we've got a little strip here. This is probably the magnetic strip. And this is what's gonna allow us to uh, stand this up against the speaker and for it to be a really good sort of solid connection. So let's get all of this set up and I'll show you it in action. So here it is, this is the Ozaki Powwow Plus. It's got a full charge in it now. You can see a little blue indicator light underneath the speaker grill here. That indicates that we've got it paired to the iPad. Very easy to pair. All you need to do is hold down the triangle button on the side for a few seconds. Then you pair it and it says it's connected. And you've got an on off switch here as well. We've also got a plus minus button on the side and this is for the volume up and down. Now this triangle as well as pairing it also pauses uh, what you're playing back. So it's got some sort of playback control in there as well. Underneath this little piece of plastic here, this is the micro USB connector for charging the device. Let's take a look around the back. We've got a plain back at the moment, but I'll show you something underneath this flap in a short while. And then on this side, we've got three and a half millimeter audio jack. So if you haven't got a Bluetooth device, you can still play music through this speaker. Now, I mentioned this flap, if we pull this flap down, there's a sort of a magnetic closure to this, and it allows you to actually connect the iPad to this section here. So I'm gonna show you how this works. Now you don't have to do this, but you can use your own case, obviously, on the iPad. But on the back of the iPad at the moment, I've got the Ozaki Pow Wow case on here. And this still allows full access to all of your connectors and ports, etc. The camera, the power on off switch, three and a half millimeter audio jack. So it's a nice case in its own right. But what you can actually do with this is you can actually locate this onto the back of the speaker and then it allows you to use it as a stand 
really really cool so you've got the sort of added benefit of this acting as a stand for your device you've got the sort of negative benefit that the speaker is now facing the back so you're going to sort of degrade the sound quality very slightly let's have a quick listen what the, to what this sounds like with the speaker facing the back now i'm going to place my microphone just down here so you can see it in view and let's set this plane back Let's just pause that a moment and the reason I wanted to pause it is because now I want to remove the iPad from the speaker so you could take this that you're using your device with your own case and you've got the speaker just standing to one side and the reason I wanted to do this was just to play you back some audio with the speaker frontward facing so let's get my microphone into position again and we just hold it round about here just so you can still hear it and we'll unpause using the little triangle button on the side. So there we go. It's got some really nice bass response in this speaker and it does go up very, very loud indeed. Now I've got mixed feelings about the case portion of this. I sort of like putting the case on it and I like snapping it onto the back, but I'm not too keen about having such a strong magnet next to my iPad. Maybe that's just me, it should be perfectly fine, but I just don't like it as much. And the sound quality is degraded because we've got the speaker facing the back. But with the speaker facing the front it is absolutely superb. The Ozaki O-Music Powwow Plus is going to cost you £100 in the UK, $149 in the US. I think that is fantastic value for money. This is a great little product. Thank you very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.